I'm putting together a video on uh, my trip to Colorado. Um, this is the second trip I've taken to Colorado. I had to go to Grand Junction this time. Um, so it was uh, really a scenic route in between uh, Denver and Grand Junction. Uh, going in there, I, coming back, of course it's scenic, but it's not as scenic as it is. Uh, you don't get the the views of the mountains as much as you do going west from Denver to Grand Junction as you do going east from Grand Junction back into Denver. Now, it really caught me by surprise. I, I wasn't familiar at all with the road out of Denver, uh, Route 70 out of Denver to uh, Grand Junction. And uh, there was no place to stop to mount a ca the camera in the car. It was kind of like a rush hour when I left Denver and uh, in the morning and I uh, really didn't was taken by surprise at how quick you left Denver and started up the mountains. Um, so I just did some footage, handheld footage of uh, the trip going east. So it's kind of shaky. Um, you don't get the clarity of the camera looking out the window from back as you do with a window mounted camera. So you're gonna have to excuse it. Uh, there's a lot of places where I talk about snow cat peaks and um, the mountains and you really, it's hard to distinguish some of that from uh, the clouds. So um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, so here it goes. Uh, probably about 50 miles from the Nebraska border. If I was to guess, I'm not really sure. I haven't seen the sign in a little while, but um, again, you get this rolling terrain, um, a lot different from before.
area to put chains on or if you can actually pick up chains for your uh, for your vehicle pretty cool huh I'm uh, hopefully you can see those snow capped peaks out in uh, distance there Sending, even though they've increased the speed limit back up again. Cool little town, whatever it is. It possibly could be. I'm not going to speculate until I see the sign down here. This video is going to be uh, broken up, so I, I just kind of want to indicate which direction that we're going to go in. Um, it, there's a lot of those uh, chain areas. Uh, I, I think I really want to set the camera up in the window. Um, coming back, I'm hauling the trailer because, um, first of all, it's going to be uh, pr probably a pretty slow process these uh, mountain passes are pretty steep and uh, pretty high so uh, gonna lose a lot of uh, power on the when you get at elevation but I don't want to be morbid but whoever was in that airplane I don't think made it okay Vail's ski area I can't I don't know whether you can see it but the chair lifts are must have something up on the top uh, maybe they take tourists up there to let them look but anyways Vail, Colorado 
going to break it up into uh, two different uploads for this trip. Uh, this part that you're seeing now is the part that's going west. And then I'm going to, uh, the second part will be the part coming back east again, back into Denver. Um, two things, there, the uh, part coming back is going to have better quality uh, with the window cam where I was able to get a window cam in and, and the clarity of the uh, shots are a lot better that way. Um, the second thing that I wanted to mention is when I, I was kind of editing this, I um, saw my, uh, heard my reaction to that plane. Um, and I, I really didn't want to seem whimsical about it. Um, after I took that shot, um, I met the guy that was driving the truck pulling that plane back. And um, I could tell as soon as I said something to him that probably the outcome of that crash wasn't very good. So um, I, I just want to rest assure you that I, I didn't mean any disrespect or se to seem whimsical about that plane crash. Uh, it did not happen in Colorado, it happened in Utah, and the guy was hauling that plane back to wherever uh, home base probably was for it. But um, anyways, uh, part two will be coming up shortly.